When George Carlin plays Las Vegas, it's usually to a sellout crowd. Another act there that does magic at the box office is Siegfried and Roy. The two magicians met on a cruise. Siegfried did a magic act, making rabbits disappear, while Roy had a pet leopard stowed away on the ship. They substituted the leopard for the rabbit in Siegfried's act, and it became an instant hit. Tom Halleck reports from Las Vegas that they've been using bigger creatures ever since. Do you believe in magic? Siegfried and Roy, master illusionists, got their start pulling rabbits out of hats, but now conjure up the likes of elephants and tigers in their lavish Las Vegas show. In our show, we try to combine all the emotional. Uh, uh, when we designed the show, we wouldn't like to have just a beautiful show. We would like to give the audience an experience, all the excitement, the thrills and the chills, and also the comedy, the fun. Magic is one of the most wonderful tools you can even think of as entertainment. So what we are about to do, we had to construct three solid walls, a platform strong enough to raise a three-ton elephant four feet above the stage. Raise the curtain. All right, raise the platform. Raise the platform. Strike the walls. Okay, raise the curtain. Okay. Now, is that convincing enough? No mirrors below, no trap doors. Nothing behind, nothing below, nothing above. Now, Eddie, we promised you to perform the impossible. Roy, you are ready? Ready. Go! Four Siberian tigers, two lions, a leopard, and a jaguar make up the magician's menagerie and also live with them at home. I found out what it's like to have a tiger around the house. She... Well... Oh, yeah, okay. well, yes, certainly. <clears throat> All right. You're saying hello. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Tom, you're very brave. I, yes, I must yes. say, I, you're the first interviewer who are that yeah. brave. Well, I love, I love animals. And I think you fellas know what you're doing, and... And I know. I've always gotten along with animals, too. Animals and babies. Okay, you want to throw it to us? Yeah, um, <clears throat> well, maybe if we were lucky, we could we could have Sarah say hello to all of our audience with entertainment nah. tonight. All right. <laughs> How do you top an act like that?